In the setup for the funky forearm balance, we have the fingertips in line with the elbow. So commonly the hand will come in line with the elbow, but that tends to make the shoulders askew. So moving the fingertips back a little bit more will get the shoulders more elbow, uh, more <laughs> the shoulders more level. <laughs> now if you're someone whose elbow tends to splay out, will want to work on that lift of the front of the shoulder and drawing down some. But a quick fix, if that's hard for you to do when you're in motion or upside down, is just, yes, exactly what she did. Turn the palm out, that tends to lift the head of the shoulder. All right, from this position, it's also more accessible, uh, having the forward palm underneath your face, but eventually we're moving to the position where it's facing straight ahead. From here, Rachel, lift your knees. Okay, one thing that helps get the hips overhead is opening up the hips, but eventually we do want to get to the hip square position. So if you notice your student that's newer is doing this and their low back can handle it, fine. But once someone has enough practice, it's time to move toward a level hip position. All right, from here the inner thighs are engaged as she'll go ahead and kick on up. There we go, the wall is there for her. Now, similar to forearm balance, those front ribs like to come out, so we're gonna press the front ribs to the back body, and then I can support her with one hand. We'll bring the other foot together. There we go. Staggered legs, so bend the knees, one knee forward, one knee back. Mm-hmm, just like so. Tends to be helpful with balance. What we can do is we can kind of sit your butt back a little bit more, use the feet, as like little, little uh, teeter-totters to help you find your balance. 